Newgale is a village with almost a two mile stretch of beach in Pembrokeshire in West Wales. The beach is situated in the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park and the Pembrokeshire North Coastal Path has a rugged coastal scenery with paths winding up and down the cliffs. Newgale is one of over 40 Welsh blue flag beaches which means it has top certification for quality, cleanliness and facilities. The beach is backed by a large pebble bank which was created by a major storm on the 25th of October 1859 and which acts as a sea defence or storm beach. However, it is often breached and the rocks are washed onto the main road. In the January 2014 storms, the sea washed the pebble wall across the road and a large wave crashed the early evening Richard Brothers bus into the adjoining field. Newgale is popular with holidaymakers, windsurfers, surfers and canoeists throughout the summer months. Pickings are very scarce today, not many pickings at all, just a few shells, a few nice stones and wet feet. Not exactly wearing the right footwear for In the next few photos you'll see sea foam. What is sea foam? If you scoop up some water from the ocean in a clear glass and look at it closely, you'll see that it is chock full of tiny particles. Sea water contains dissolved fats, proteins, fats, de dead algae, detergents and other pollutants and a bunch of other bits and pieces of organic and artificial matter. If you shake the glass of ocean water vigorously, small bubbles will form on the surface of the liquid. Sea foam forms in this way, but on a much grander scale. When the ocean is agitated by wind and waves, each coastal region has differing conditions governing the formation of sea foams. Algae blooms are one common source of, six, of thick sea foams. When large blooms of algae decay offshore, great amounts of decaying algae matter often wash ashore, form foams as this organic matter is churned up by the surf. Most sea foam is not harmful to humans and is often in an indication of a productive ocean ecosystem. But when large harmful algae blooms decay near shore, there are, off there are potential for impacts to human health and the environment.
getting a bit choppy out there with the old waves. Believe it or not, Woo. surfers are going out into the sea. They must be crazy. It is so cold. It's about five degrees Celsius right now. Brr. Crazy people. We're working our way back now because it is getting extremely cold. The wind has picked up and the tide is coming in. As you can see right across the shingle beach there or pebbles. It's uh, actually breaching onto the pebbles now. So we're going to go and uh, we'll see you back at base. And I'll show you our finds for the day. These are some of our finds. There's um, the razor shell, which is these ones here. Limpet, some sort of oyster. Another type of shell there. I don't know what they are. These are um, mussels um, with barnacles. And then these beautiful little shells here. I'm not quite sure what make they are either. But this is just a small selection of shells that um, we got off the beach. And uh, I'm just going to clear this away and I will find all the other bits and bobs and let you see what we got there too. Okay, so this is part two of our batch of finds. Um, obviously we've got some um, driftwood which... I'm collecting bits and pieces for for various projects which you'll see later on this fishing line or fishing net material i've kept this color because i have a project in mind for this and um, the rest i put into the rubbish as i was going along just picking it up then i have a uh, some nice stone so i've got a nice round granite stone um, these are to go into my tabletop stone memory pot. Um, I'll link the video below where I made one of those uh, with um, with air drying plants, just so that uh, you can see what I'd made. Um, nice piece of white quartz. I'd be like that one. Um, I do believe in there is um, fossilized coral. This one was picked up purely because of the colour, um, nondescript really. And this one, because of all the different colours in the in the stripes, I'm not sure whether that's actually slag glass, um, but the colours in the stripes, amazing, a real pretty blue grey. And then we've got. The heart stone, which hubby always finds me as a heart-shaped stone when we go anywhere on a visit on a beach or whatever, because he says he loves me as much as he loves the outdoors. <laughs> so there we go, a bit of a romantic fellow he is. And then this one is another um, stone which has got some layering in it, and uh, I think once that's polished... That's going to look quite pretty with all the the old banded um, colours in there. So that's part two to our haul for the day.